What's going on, friends? Glad to see you guys back here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, you guys have been asking for it, and now we're going to bring it to you folks hot off the table. That is the benchmarks for the new AMD A106800K. Now, on our initial test, we've run it against the 5800K, so you guys can see the performance differences there. And I think you guys will be, you know, pretty much aware already of what's going on. But now you guys will be able to see in our benchmarks how it actually really does. Now, we will also be testing it against an Intel CPU as well. That is the i5-4430 that I've got right here to my side right here. And this thing's on the LJ1150 platform. Now, some people had made comments before when we were asking about this, they wanted to test against the i3, but the only thing is, is on the Haswell, there is no i3 for desktop. We know this processor is a little bit more money, but we want to test 2013 technology against 2013 technology. Also, if you guys would like to see us unbox this leave a comment down below stating hey we want that and hit that like button to let us know and we'll go ahead and do an unboxing of this processor as well with that said though let's jump in right now and let's check out the benchmarks of the new amd a10 6800k against the 5800k So there you folks have it. You guys can see from the benchmarks that you're getting about three to 10% performance increase depending on what application you're running. Now, one thing I definitely though have to mention right off the bat is that the new 6800K, it does run a hell of a lot hotter than its previous generation 5800K. That is something you might want to consider before upgrading. It's going to require a better heat sink and a better cooling solution to keep that bad boy running cool. Due to the fact that obviously it's an overclocked chip right out of the box. Most of you folks know that this is basically new technology and that's the way it goes. A lot of times when they push this stuff, it just gets hotter. Intel's known to make stuff try to run cooler. AMD's been trying to get stuff to run faster. Sometimes it's a sacrifice. So that's what it is. Now we'll be testing this against the Intel platform. We'll be seeing if the HD graphics that are inside of that, the 4600, are actually better than the ones on the A10. That'll be our next test up. Stay tuned. If you guys like it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, we hope you are. You guys know what to do. I'm out of here.